Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we are talking about how to negotiate with your jeweler. We want the best price possible. We looking for the best price possible, but remember, we gotta establish the relationship. If you new and this your first time on my channel, um, like the video, uh, subscribe. Today, we are gonna be discussing on how to get the best price. And um, we want to be locked in. So first off, remember, guys, the relationship with your jeweler is crucial. It is very crucial. If you did not see that video right there, go back and check that video out right there. But if you knew and you're going to a new jeweler, this is your first time and you're going to buy something, the best thing to do is to lock him in early. You're going to have to have cash. Like, let me make that very clear, guys. You're going to need cash so that the jeweler will know that you are serious. If you're in there and you're telling your jeweler that you want this and you want that and you don't have any money, you're going to make them look at you just like all of the other window shoppers. You don't want to do that. When it's time for you to go in and it's time for you to buy or you want something, you want cash to put down on it. Now, hypothetically say, the piece that you want costs $10,000. You might need between three to $5,000 cash to put down on that. Now, because you're doing the finance, when you're getting this piece right here, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult for him to budge. Now, if the piece was 10,000 and you say, I got 7,500 right now for the piece, he would budge. But you got 3000 to 5000 and the piece is 10000 So he's going to he's gonna play hardball with that right there, guys. But he wants to get you locked in. He wants to get that three to $5,000 off of you right there. So you're going to lock him in and ask him to bring the piece down. Remember, you're new. You don't really know him. So he's not going to give you a super great deal. He's not going to give you this $10,000 piece for $6,000. Like, he's not going to do that, guys. He's bound to say, okay, this piece is $10,000. After taxes, the piece may be twelve to $13,000. So you can go about this two ways. You can go about this with, though, you ask him to give you the piece 10,000 all in, or you can ask him to give you the piece at 8,000 all in. That's going to all go along with building the relationship and letting them know that you're serious. Uh, because it's your first time, he may give you more likely give you the 10,000 all in. It's more likely he'll be like, okay, no, I'll just take off the taxes and everything, I'll give you the 10,000 all in, which is not bad to lock them into that price because as we know over time, the price of gold goes up, the price of diamond goes up. So it's a good thing to lock that in. But if you actually have cash, now you can take that piece off of him for a lot less, but you're going to wanna to go to your jeweler with cash, guys. Don't go in there with no money looking around, talking about what I can get. I'll tell you right now, when you go to your jeweler, everything that you like is going to be expensive. It's so expensive, you will start to question guys' jewelry that you know with jewelry because it's very expensive. So you probably be like, this guy, how can he get this? Or this guy's wearing fake jewelry. You know, he can't afford this right here. So it's very, very expensive. For a regular gold chain, we both we all know that the price of gold right now sits at around eighteen hundred dollars, maybe nineteen hundred dollars. Um, the last time that I checked, and when you want a chain out of that and things, it can get even more expensive, guys. So when you're new, the best way to lock in your jeweler to get a great price is to have cash. Have cash. Allow him to say the number first of the piece. Allow him to tell you. He's going to tell you and he's going to start at the high end. And when he says that, then you should be working on trying to bring it down about $3,000 because you knew. But I can tell you as time go on, he's going to remember you. 
because you're going to be making payments. Remember what I said, guys, we're not rappers. We, we're not. We don't have that money that's going in. And now if you one of them guys that do got that money going in, I salute you. But the average individual is not taking a jeweler $10,000, $20,000 for a piece. So as you continue to deal with this jeweler and create that relationship, it will get even more better for the pieces that you want and the deals that you can get out of your jeweler. But this video is for guys who's just starting out pretty much and getting your first piece from a new jeweler because you haven't uh, established that relationship yet. Me, I'm on a term where with my jeweler, I have established a relationship with my jeweler and I can go in there and I can pretty much offer up, you know, let me get this piece for this piece. But that was after buying multiple pieces from that jeweler so remember guys the key to it is going in with cash we're not window shopping know what you're going to get when you go in there like the worst thing you can do is to go into your jeweler and don't know what you want to get and then he's going to start showing you all these different things and of course he's going to try to run up the number on you because you knew so know exactly what you want um Another thing, know when you're going with a custom piece, hopefully you want to keep that piece, guys, because there is no trade-in value on when you get something custom done. You know, as a lot of you can see, I have a memory pendant. That's of my brother right there. When I got that pendant done, I knew that this was something that I never wanted to get rid of right here. So it didn't matter how much money, you know, if I decided to trade it in one day, uh, it would lose or whatever. It was a piece that I knew. I know custom pieces, you lose money on it because somebody don't want to buy what you got custom done. They don't want it. So the jeweler has to re-break it down and sell it and melt it down, get the diamonds out of it so it becomes worthless. So just, you know, my advice is keep what you got. Um, know, what you, know what you want when you're going in there and have cash, guys. Have cash when you go in there and... You guys are going to be on the right page. Uh, like the video, subscribe. Check out my uh, Instagram page at UPT underscore B-E-Z. Um, I'll see you guys later.